Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here uh, from My Heap. Hey, uh, before I proceed on to the next video, which would be assembling the uh, tailstock, I need to I need to give a couple shout outs and very, very sincere thank yous. Uh, the first, um, to Jeremy Gagnon. Jeremy um, said, asked me, said, hey, send me the uh, size of the uh, post thread on your uh, change pole, uh, quick change tool post, and I'll make you a T-nut. And uh, so Jeremy uh, made a T-nut for me. Um, now, Jeremy, uh, I did have to modify a little bit. I had to draw file the edges a little bit. I think my uh, my tool holder here is a slightly different size than, than yours, but uh, other than that, you'll see that uh, it slides right through. Nice fit. There's no play. Uh, Jeremy, you've done an awesome job, man, and, and thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. That uh, saved me a lot of hacksawing, filing, and a butcher job that I was going to do on the nut that came with the tool post. The other thing I wanted to point out, um, this is an M, if for anybody else who's going to buy a Bostar or Bostar uh, quick change tool post, this is an M14 by 1.5 so this is the fine version of the thread and then this is the m14 coarse version up here which i think is uh, uh 175 or something like that uh the only other thing uh, jeremy i did want to point out was uh my post does bottom all the way i got plenty of space down here so i don't have to worry about running the uh the bolt into the um into the uh compound uh only other question i got and and uh i got a couple questions and I'm, i know that you more experienced guys tell me this uh is it safe to go ahead and lock tight this bolt in here i mean i don't you know i mean if i ever need it out i can use heat right so um but that fits in there and, and that's great and uh jeremy uh gagnon thank you sir i know it was cold in your shop i know you guys had uh uh, some pretty cold temps uh up there where you're at in connecticut and and uh <laughs> you're a good man that's all i can say thank you so uh now i want to move on to another um uh, some other items that i got in mail i want to reposition the camera and we'll go from there okay i'm over at the uh, gear cover into the lathe and uh, there's a couple parts here that I, I one that i specifically that i asked about was what did this uh catch look like so that maybe i can figure out how to make one uh, I got uh, several pictures. Thank you, Chris, uh, for sending a picture to me. And thank you, Mr. Richard uh, Cox, for sending a picture to me. I also um, had asked questions about the hinge pin back here. Now, I have just a couple bolts and some washers, and but there's supposed to be a pen through here. And uh, so I had asked for some pictures and some dimensions on that pen. And again, folks were kind enough to um, send pictures to me. But... Mr. Cox uh, went one step further. He uh, he says, "Hey, I tell you what, I'll make those parts for you." So here's the here's the uh, uh, the catch, uh, the spring-loaded catch that locks the door in place uh, there. And he made a hinge pin for me. Uh, now this is based on on his lathe, and we, we assume that most of the stuff is pretty much the same. So. Um, that is uh, that is most awesome, sir. I appreciate it. I'm gonna get these parts uh, installed, and and then I'll come back and give a, a picture of them, and and we'll see how they look. Uh, but Mr. Cox uh, also uh, sent along some other goodies, and I want to show those. So let me get the camera here, and I'm in position, and I'll be right back. So in addition to making these two parts for me, uh, Mr. Cox sent along some other goodies, which uh, will be very very helpful. Uh, he he sent me a. Uh, uh, a decimal equivalent chart, a chart with uh, tap drill sizes. I didn't have one of these up until now. Uh, I've always um, either looked on the uh, lid of my uh, cheap tap and die set or I've looked it up on, on the internet. So that's going to come in real handy. Thank you, Mr. Cox. Uh, Mr. Cox also sent a fishtail, um, uh, which is nice because I needed one of those. And he sent some center drills. He sent uh, uh, and a nice long reach center drill and a very very small center drill and I, I and I have a couple center drills but I didn't have anything this small so that's uh when I get into some maybe some small stuff that uh that uh that uh, help out so I, I greatly appreciate the tooling uh sir and uh thank you for um the correspondence um I, I understand your situation I, I understand that so um so anyway, other than that, uh, I'm going to end this video here, and the next one will be we're going to assemble the tail stock and um, go from there. One last question for you gurus out here. Let's see if I can adjust the camera without making you 
nauseous. Maybe. Ah, there we go. I think that'll work. So you see this uh, drive plate. Now I bought this drive plate off of eBay. Uh, fits the lathe, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm, and I'm glad I have it because I want, I want to eventually do some between centers turning because I just think that's important to learn. My question is, uh, and I think I know the answer to this, but I want to withhold what I think I know the answer is just to, uh, just as to validate my, my thought process. My question is, should I give this uh, faceplate a very, very light facing cut uh, to ensure that it's true with the axis of the, uh, you know, the, the perpendicular axis uh, of the lathe, that it's parallel to that? Um, so that, that's my question. If any of you guys can throw an answer out there to me, um, whether if I should just take a very light facing cut across here uh, to make sure that it's true or not. So, all right, well, look, I'm going to end the video here. And uh, again, uh, Jeremy, thank you so much, sir, for the T-nut. That saved me uh, a lot of time. And again, it, it almost fit perfectly. I just had to draw file the bottom edges just a little bit to, for it to slide into mine. Um, but it's great, man, and, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you uh, going out in your uh, blizzardly cold shop to do that. And uh, Mr. Cox, thank you, thank you again for these parts. And uh, uh, I will, I will post a, a video uh, of them installed so we can see what they look like. And thank you for the, for the, uh, uh, the decimal uh, chart and the uh, tap drill size chart. That, that's that's going to be just wonderful, helpful, and the fishtail and the centers. Um, thank you, sir. And uh, other than that, you guys have a blessed day.